we should have saved the money. We spent we thousands upon thousands mm -hmm. of dollars and time on upgrades and suspension and taking metal in the eye. Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So in this video, we're gonna touch on an almost six month follow up update to our biggest RV upgrade by far. And we should have saved our money. And be sure to stay to the end because we're gonna tell you how much money we should have saved. All right, so you may be wondering, what is this huge upgrade we've done to our motor home? If you've watched us, you kind of know what we're surprise, talking about. Surprise, surprise. But for those that are new, we welcome you and we're gonna let you know. So our biggest upgrade by far to Nelly, our motor home, has been our liquid spraying system. So we're gonna talk about, like I said, in this video, six month review. Listen, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. It's definitely some downsides there's some upside so before we get into all of that what is liquid spring for those of you that don't know what it is well liquid spring is essentially a probably the best suspension upgrade you can get for your motorhome outside maybe really high-end diesel motorhomes and and honestly i think if they designed the system for the high-end motorhomes it would be better also but it is a call a smart suspension it is a fluid based suspension silicone type fluid and it will greatly improve the handling the driving uh, less fatigue while you're going down the road in your motorhome so there are two options that you can get with liquid spring. You can get the rear system or you can get the four corner system. And that is what we got for Nelly, the four corner system. Now, for those of you that don't understand, for the most part, about 70% of the improvement is going to be off the rear. As a matter of fact, liquid spring will only sell you the rear. You can't just buy the front. So you can buy either the rear or the or four the corner. Front. They won't only sell the front. And that's for good reason because... The big benefit mm -hmm. is in the back and then to polish it off the <laughs> cherry on top is going to be up front so like mj said we have the four corner system so we're going to talk about what we like about this system and it's a lot and then we're going to talk about what we don't like and what could be improved all right so what do we like so the first thing is just going to be the driving characteristics of the motorhome now when we first got our motorhome and i know they've been improved since 2021 since the chassis f53 has changed but ours is a 2019 it was terrible and to me it was it shouldn't even be on the road the way it was we drove home from albany we had about a three hour drive and i mean trucks would pass and oh, be pushed it, it was that was, it was the bad scariest time of our life so much so <laughs> that when we got home i'm like we we need to do something here and, and we added a lot of suspension upgrades the usual the sumo springs and the radius front, rods. Uh, yeah upgraded sway bar radius rods mm -hmm. rear track all, all the ones you see on the forums we added so mj never drove nelly without those upgrades but she's going to talk about what changed from when she drove with those upgrades to when we got liquid spring. So as Izzy said, I never really experienced the the horror of driving this with no suspension upgrades. But when we were in a Tampa RV show this past January in 2021, we did test drive the demo vehicle with liquid spring. Oh my God. When I got in that, even coming with, from an RV with all of these upgrades that we did, I could not believe the difference, and I'm not just saying this, I literally was flying around corners and they told me, just go, drive like a maniac, and that I did. So what was the and difference that you felt? The difference was, for example, you have trucks flying past you and I can literally one hand and you're not moving. Before that, you were gripping for dear life holding on because the trucks were flying past and you're moving all you're swaying back and forth this is gone all right one-handed i know i shouldn't do that but i'm just saying the amount of control that you have because of this when people are flying past you is great so also it just impacts everything when we would drive for a long period of time i would drive for four hours five hours i would be tired fatigued you can go way longer now. So we're finding that we can do when each of us is driving much longer duration of driving because you're not getting as tired because you're not getting thrown all over the place. How about laying in the bed in the back? Yeah, you can sleep. Can you remember before yeah. this? I mean, you actually can lay down and sleep, which was, was not like we do that a lot, but it was an option and it really helped. So like, yeah, MJ said, everything is easier to drive. I know for me, I, I'm kind of very in tune with how it felt. And very much like MJ said, as soon as I got behind the wheel of that demo vehicle, I was like, wow, like this is insane. 
comparable to expensive diesel motorhomes we drove. Not comparable in power, of course, of course, but it handled, I remember if you go back to our, our first video we did on the on the test drive, it handled like my Ram pickup on air suspension. It was tight on the turns, the sway was gone. I felt like I was driving a big car, which is pretty awesome. So in my opinion, it makes it a much safer drive. I feel like I have more control. Like MJ said, you're not getting pushed around. You're not you know, mentally fatigued. It just feels much safer. Another thing that I really like is the adjustable height. So stock coach on the F53 comes with leaf springs, front and rear. Fixed height, you can't adjust anything. When you get the liquid spring system, those leaf springs are gone. I mean, they completely change the way the setup is. You get new struts. It's an somebody they call it a five link system pretty awesome with that you're able to adjust the height now i could be wrong on this but i believe wayne told me it's three inches each way right so you have your normal you can go three inches down and then from normal three inches up so actually six inches all the way around but three from the normal that is very useful it's useful if you are coming out if you have you're like on a driveway and you have a big kind of hump going up like a, an incline Sometimes the rear, if you have a drop hitch, could scrape. With this, you can lift it up those three inches. Also, when you get to a campground, you're able to drop down very much like a diesel pusher. You're able to drop down almost all the way down to the ground. What that does, it brings the levelers three inches closer. That's three more inches of play you have when you're leveling. So you essentially could deploy less of your levelers as far as lengthwise and still get level, which is really nice. If you're enjoying the video so far, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below, join the family, hit the notification bell also so you know when our next video comes out. Okay, so there are things that we aren't big fans of. And as you know, we always are honest with our reviews. So the first thing is we weren't too thrilled with how it works with three steps. If you have two steps, it's not going to be steps. a problem. Right. You're down all the way. Those steps are going to scrape on the ground. So let's just show it like what exactly we're talking about. So right now we are level and at a normal height. If we were to drop all the way to the lowest, uh, this would be on the ground. It would be scraping the ground. So in order to combat that, what, what we have to do, we drop it all the way down and then we have to level up and then you're, you have plenty of clearance. It's, it's not like a deal breaker, but it's certainly something that you have to keep in mind. If you have two steps, you're going to have to do that. I'm sorry. If you have three steps, you're going to have to do that. If you have two, it's not really that big of a problem. Now, just keep in mind, our coach was the first four corner system outside their demo vehicles in the whole country. The other demo vehicles they had only had two steps. So I think they kind of didn't expect this. They know about it. They said they were going to work on it. I, I don't know the current situation, but certainly something to ask them if you're looking to have this installed. All right, another drawback is gonna be the added weight to the coach. Like I said, all the leaf springs are removed. You lose weight that way. However, this is a heavy system. You know, it's all new infrastructure on the suspension, new struts, all kind of bars, and there's actually the cylinders that hold the silicone, the electronic controller. All in all, we were plus 600 pounds. Now, that is taking 600 pounds away from our carrying capacity. So if you are, if you don't have a large carrying capacity, this is something that you definitely gonna wanna look at, maybe only your rear, which will, will save you some weight, but it's something that could be an issue. For us, it's not a big deal because we had the carrying capacity, but again, this is something you have to keep in mind. All right, another thing that I think is a little bit of a drawback, but it could be compensated, is this, right? So you see, this is the top of our tire, and you see the wheel well here. You see how much space there is. Now, we are not at normal height right now. And actually, if we weren't leveled out and dropped it low, this would be down here. Now, where can this be a problem? For whatever reason, if you don't remember to level up or to raise it high, and you cut this wheel hard, it could actually go into your fender. We didn't have that problem with the leaf springs because the leaf springs were designed at ride height with enough clearance. So again, this is no different than if you had like a diesel pusher with air rod and you dump the air. It's just an extra thing that you're gonna have to think about when you go to a system like this. So we have done many videos regarding you know the, the installation and what exactly comes with liquid spraying now. One of the things you actually have a controller on the inside and on that controller, 
you can adjust the ride height. You could also adjust like the comfort. So it has uh, comfort, sport, and regular. That's the amount of steering tightness, how it reacts. One of the things that we would like to see would be Bluetooth capability. That would be awesome, especially for the ride height. So if I was able to open up an app and then if I'm outside and I could adjust the ride height from outside, I can see how much clearance. I think that would be a really cool option. It's not a deal breaker. These are just suggestions for Liquid Spring. I'm sure they can make that happen, but uh, something we would like to see. And we're going to talk about the last two things that we don't like about Liquid Spring. You're going to drive faster. I should say you're going to drive yeah, faster. Somebody's going to correct you. You're going to. G-U-N-N-A. -N -N -A. <laughs> we just find ourselves driving faster, right? Whereas before we were like 65 miles an hour. Now we're driving like 75, right? And 75. I don't drive 75. Yeah, okay. Drive she drives 70. like 80. Yep. I drive uh, anyway, 70. You, you're going to wind up driving faster because you have so much more confidence on the road, and that's going to really affect your miles per gallon, which, which we've seen we've dropped like half a mile per gallon, but to me it's worth it. Right. And another thing, the reason that we don't like it is because it put us in a position now where we will never be able to have another coach without the liquid spring system. I mean, it's spoiled us. You know how when you go to a concert, years ago I went to a Billy Joel concert. I was in the last seat and they put me in the front row. Billy Joel buys the front two, two rows out and puts people that have crappy seats in the front two rows. I can never go to another Billy Joel concert and not sit in the front two rows. Right? Could you? Yeah. So our next motorhome, it's either if it's a gasser, it's going to have to have liquid spring. If it's a super C, it's going to have to have liquid mm -hmm. spring. Or it's going to have to be like a really high end motorhome that has a somewhat equivalent mm -hmm. suspension system because you do get spoiled. So, what is our final rating? Or I shouldn't say that. What is our, our rating or grade after six months so far? As you, as a former teacher, what will you give it? I would definitely give it an A. Uh, myself, it's excellent. This is by far the best upgrade we've done. This should be the first upgrade. I, I wish Newmar would offer this out of the factory because I really think they're putting themselves at a disadvantage because there's some other companies that are doing that. But whatever, they, they do what they want. Anyway, we talked about the title of the video. We should have saved the money. What do we mean by that? Well, what we meant is we spent thousands upon thousands mm -hmm. of dollars and time on upgrades and suspension and taking metal in the eye for those of you that didn't follow that when we put the radius rods on and just tons of money. You should have just done this to begin with. Now I wind up selling that stuff for like, you know, half the price. But what, what I'm trying, what we're trying to say is that if it's in your budget, listen, this is not cheap. It's expensive. We, we've mentioned the price in other videos. But if it's in your budget, don't even waste your time with the other stuff. No. It's expensive. If, if it's not in your budget, then you got to do what you got to do. But if it's in your budget, I'm telling you, there's no comparison out there. It is an absolute game changer like nothing else out there for the motorhomes they offered for. I do want to mention that we did leave on the Safety Plus. Correct. That's it. Right. Oh, and the front and sway the, bar. Right. Yeah, so the upgraded sway those bar. Those can complement it, but... Everything else you won't yeah. need. You can actually, I think, do a rear sway bar mm -hmm. also, but it, it's not needed. So in the comments below, put it, let us know. Do you have a liquid spring system? Are you sick of hearing us pimp out liquid spring? If you are, too bad. <laughs> anyway, no, we know for certain that a lot of people didn't know about Liquid Spring until they watched our videos and now they, they own it and uh, they're loving it. We haven't gotten negative feedback on it yet, yeah, yeah. which is pretty awesome. So in the comments below, let us know what you think. Is it something that you would consider? Also, we have a discount code, right? Mm -hmm. If you use a discount code Ride Endlessly, you will get up to $750 on a Liquid Spring system. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the road.